started his match starts career with us and we shoot match starts and as you all know him now he's he's uh, one of the superstars of the UFC team. Uh, so he's he's home for two weeks here. Uh, so he's uh, you know he's very, very busy with his family, obviously with the UFC tomorrow, it's happening tomorrow night. Um, so he's given give a give him a time back to us, back to BMA to uh, show a bit of skills, a bit of few demonstrations of takedowns and rolls and a bit of uh, sound of fighting but um, Tom will take over anyway. This is Jeff. Jeff's his training partner from Boston, okay? So he came over, he's gonna do the help with the demonstration and everything. Um, so Yeah, so what we're gonna do guys, we're gonna um, stay with what you already know and I'm not gonna have you guys rolling around on the ground and stuff, but we'll bridge since, since this is my base, um, we're gonna bridge essentially what you already know and kinda just segue a little bit of the MMA stuff into it. We'll do uh, you guys are obviously all familiar with hitting the kicking the body, kicking the head. But we'll mix up attacking the legs, you know, really starting from um, you know, from the foundation, how to attack some of these legs and then build it from there. Uh, we may do one funky takedown, uh, just to kind of give that MMA feel and maybe seg you know, simulate elbows on the ground or something. But um, I'm forever grateful for what I've learned uh, from Bushido martial arts and it's been a, a, a huge part of, you know, um, my fight game and um, also has inspired what we know of Conor McGregor. I was just with Conor this morning in the gym and uh, you know, he saw my picture on Instagram with, with Roy Baker, Sensei Roy, and he was like, man, I, I need to get down and train with Roy and, and Ilya and those boys because you know, he's like, I took so much from you from what you learned from them. So um, to let you guys know essentially what you guys are doing and the program you're being, you know, that, that you're uh, being run by is a very high level program, you know, credit to Ilya, Danny, uh, Sensei Roy and all those guys. Um, and that, that has influenced, you know, essentially the biggest MMA superstar in the UFC, and that is Conor McGregor. So, um, and I happened to travel around and help Conor help prepare for fights. I did the Ultimate Fighter season with him, which is why I'm, I figured for sure I'd wear Ultimate Fighter with Team McGregor on the back, just let you guys, you know, give a bit of a feel. But uh, so we'll warm up, we'll get some partners, um, and uh, and then we'll just work on technical stuff from there. Sound good? Yep. Bear with me now. My hair is getting a little long, so it's in that in-between stage. So it'll be in my face and all that stuff. Flicking the hair back. Right all right. So when you're ready, guys, we're going to do a little jog around the room and just follow my lead. And uh, we'll stretch, make sure the body's warm. And, uh, and then we'll just start um, moving around with the pattern. All right, so let's follow me. Take the shoulders going forward. <coughs> going backwards. Leg swings, left leg and then right leg. Stepping forward, keep your posture up, touch the knee and step back. Control guys, don't do it too fast. <coughs> Make sure you get a little bit of a stretch, big step. Make sure you keep your chest up, lean back a little bit as you step out. We're also going to stretch out the hip here. Combine the leg swing with the lunge. So we're going to step back with the lunge. Come up, leg swing. Step back, come up, leg swing. Let's go. Step back, and then come up over there. Step back, come up. Take your time with it. Don't rush. Focus on your breathing.
Okay, so we're gonna walk out on the floor now, push in position. Right here. Let's go. Hold your push-up halfway. Keep your chest off the floor. Hold it. And from there, drop your whole body. Come up, stretch out the hips. Just relax and breathe now. Anybody do yoga? <coughs> no? All right. What's that? Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, from here, back on the heels. Try to put your heels to the floor. Keep your hands on the ground. Make sure you're, you're, you're flat on your hands. You should feel a stretch in your calf and your hamstring. Forward again, hold your push up halfway one more time, breathe in. And relax, drop the whole body, come up. Nice stretch. Focus on your breathing. And again, back on the heels. You should get your heels a little closer to the floor this time, a little closer. Alright, on your knees. Let's step forward with the left foot. And then this is a little tricky now. Step forward with the left foot and grab the back foot. And try and keep your hips facing forward. So we're stretching at the quad and the hip. If, you're, if it's too hard, you can grab your ankle. And you kind of hang back just as long as you're feeling some type of stretch on the front of your leg and on your on your right hip. And if you get more of a stretch, you can kind of drive that knee forward <coughs> and then keep that foot, keep pulling on that foot. Okay, let's switch. Right foot goes forward, grabbing the left foot. Same thing. If grabbing the foot is too hard, grab your shin, or you can grab the toes if you want to get more of a stretch. Keep your chest upright, guys. Don't lean forward because you lose that, that stretch on your hip. Chest up, right forward. <coughs> okay, stand up. Shake out the legs and the arms. Let's rotate the wrists. While you're rotating the wrists, rotate your left ankle. Nice and loose. Stay with your wrist and switch onto the right ankle. One more time on the left. On the right. <clears throat> All right, let's get a little bit of water, pattern up, and then we start the first drill. Everybody warm, yeah? Yeah. Alright, don't get too excited. Just because you have your just because you have your mouthpiece and your gloves on, we'll have to be kicking the crap out of each other. Alright, so Jeff uh, learned a lot of his stand-up striking from Muay Thai. Alright, so I'm essentially using him to show you how what you do, you know, what's known as sport karate or that point style of fighting is very effective against these brute you know, heavy kickers. Jeff, as you can tell by his legs, looks like he can kick a hole in the wall, right? But uh, we're gonna work on being snappy. So the first drill you're gonna do with your partner, we're gonna work on snapping the inside of the leg. Is anybody here a lefty? No? Yeah. yeah. Liam has to be off, doesn't he? You're all right. Uh, all right, so if you're a lefty, Jeff, go lefty for me. If you're a lefty, that's fine. You're gonna attack the outside of the leg. All right, that's, that's totally fine. And guys, if you're not used to, Attacking or receiving attacking on your leg, it's, it can break somebody down very fast. Um, if any of you have watched uh, mixed martial arts, any type of mixed martial arts fights, kicking the legs can really slow somebody down. It's, it's literally like taking a bat and hitting somebody in the leg with it, okay? And we're going to use the inside. Inside of the leg is very tender, but we're going to use that as a setup. So the first drill we're going to do, Jeff's going to have his Muay Thai stance. You guys go righty, Jeff. So you're back bouncing around, you have that nice bounce. What's beautiful about this bounce is I can be snappy. Rather than being here, and I have to switch to get something, and it becomes a trade, we're gonna be moving around here, I'm touching the inside of the leg. So I'm bouncing, bouncing, have that bounce, touch, and I'm back out. Here, bouncing, touch. So this is something you, you'd be already accustomed to, you know, you'd be used to going to the body. But we're moving, just with your partner, but moving. 
Don't get too excited. Don't kill your partner's leg. Ooh. Jeff's able to take it. Ooh. I'm just moving. All right, so again, move it, move it, move it. When you ready, Ooh. move. Get a bounce. Ooh. And even if Jeff does have a bounce, Jeff, come over here again. Get a bit of a bounce with Jeff. Even if we are both bouncing, I can still reach him. I'm not going in here and getting caught. I'm not going here and dropping, getting caught. My goal is to hit and get back out. Okay, because it's going to be, at least what we're learning here, the fight will be continued. So you got to really focus on what's going to happen next, rather than me, you know, just getting something. You know, I really need to think of when I attack him, I got to attack and get back out. So I focus on being quick with your footwork. It's better to be quick than think and go. Now, that may seem like, oh, that's nothing. But over the course of a fight, it's stopping a guy from advancing on you. It's kind of like a jab, boom. You're moving, boom. It's just keeping him at range. So with your partner, get a bounce. One person can be stationary, another person can bounce. Because we're simulating, you know, not everybody in a sport of martial arts, especially if you're fighting a wrestler. Get in a low stance, Jeff. You know, but wrestlers get really compact, which is lovely because you can start, boom, faking and coming up to the head. We'll get to that. But for now, bouncing, hit. And if you look, guys, I'm keeping my head at range. So even if he did throw, I can get some type of counter. All right, so with your partner, move around, watch your space, use all the middle. One person, you're just kind of moving around. Other person, get that bounce, touch it, moving. Touch it, moving. Do about five inside leg kicks each and then switch it over. But don't rush it, okay? Me and Jeff will come around and help you. All right, let's go. Keep it just above the knee. Five each. All right, pause it for a second, guys. Just watch this real quick. And again, I just really want to emphasize this. Jeff, a guy like Jeff, right? Uh, if you're fighting somebody who has a Muay Thai base, if I'm here and he's got his Muay Thai stance and I come in and I'm slow, Jeff's gonna boom, or even worse, go for the back leg. He'll step right through, boom. And that's, like, I, in fact, Jeff's last fight, a guy made the mistake of being too close and Jeff kicked and hit both the legs and your man went up and landed on his back. Jeff jumped on him, got the rear naked choke. So I really wanna emphasize, you get in, you get out. Don't, like, even though we're drilling here and we're playing it light, still take it serious. I don't want to be here, I don't want to be like, boom, like that. Boom. Jeff and his monstrous calves are going to break my legs, okay? So I'm here, I really want to be like, whip, in and out, all right? Here, whip, in and out. And again, guys, watch. I'm not kicking up high. I'm kicking near the knee, this soft part right here. This, when this gets beat on, all the blood's going to go down to that knee. All the tendons and ligaments are going to be under a little bit more pressure because there's a lot more fluid around there. What's going to happen is eventually he's going to get lazy in that leg and I can really land something heavy here. Or he's going to be thinking about that so much that I can like try throw something else to the body or to the head. But I'm just stopping this to let you know. I'm not going here and I can get eaten with the hands or even if he returns. You know, because some guys get stubborn. If, if you're kicking their legs, they're like, well, fuck you, I'm gonna kick you out of these, well, excuse my language. Uh, <clears throat> again, in, out, in, out, in, boom. Remember that just the same as a, as a big right, I don't go like that, okay? When I land it, boom, I gotta pull it back. So the way out is just as, just as important as going in. All right, let's keep going. Five each. <laughs> Slow it down now, Jeff. Again, this is this this is like the jabbing version of, of like snapping the kick. It's like jab, it's like a jab, jab, jab. It's like a quick jab, jab, jab. You're jabbing the guy away when you're using your leg and attacking his leg. But let's slow it down. What I want you to do with your partner. Watch the footwork. So I'm here. I'm gonna step in, hit, and I'm gonna replace back. Because a lot of you are doing, and it's lovely. Because I understand why you you get that push as you would, you know, uh, in point fighting. You know, you lift the leg and you boom, in like that. Right, but what I'm looking to do here is to hit, back out. So, you're gonna be stationary now. Step in, hit, replace the feet. Step in, hit, and work on getting as much distance as you can. Hit, so I step, hit, and I replace my feet. 
All right, let's let's do five of those each. We'll just slow it down for a little bit before we move on. Okay, I love you guys. Bring it in. All right, so as you can probably feel now, the inside of your leg is probably starting to get a little bit sore. That's just like in a fight, and it's annoying. Okay, only in a fight you're kicking the leg as hard as you can for that type of movement. What I mean as hard as you can, like, if I'm fighting Jeff, and we're in an MMA fight, you know, just because I can kick him as hard as I can, doesn't mean that this nice slick move becomes that, and then, you know, I'm, he may lift his shin to check it, and, and I've broken my leg, all right? Um, you still keep it, that nice clean movement. You know, have faith in your, in your technique, have faith in your ability, you're just, boom, putting more pop on it uh, in a live situation. All right, so, we've moved around, the Muay Thai guy's nice time to get. Right, we've got nice elusiveness. He's used to seeing this a lot now, right? So we're hitting him a lot. Now we're gonna fake and stomp. We're gonna fake and stomp the knee. All right, so I'm moving, moving. Boom, boom. Hitting him, keeping the distance. Now I'm gonna fake, boom. And I'm stomping that knee, shutting it down. Brutal, brutal attack on the leg. Again, if you snap somebody's knee down, all those ligaments behind the knee. Does anybody know the, know the biology and stuff like that? Where is it? Can you roll off the, the, the tendons that will get damaged there? <laughs> so you're gonna do two of those snap kicks, finish it. Now guys, I really wanna emphasize this. Be very careful when you're doing something like this. Okay, so we're moving around, okay? Hitting one, two, and when you're ready, nice and relaxed. I wanna be patient here, lift, boom. Okay, moving around again. Person, person who's uh, you know receiving the kicks, make sure when your partner's doing this, like if my leg's loose, you know, and my partner's practicing this, and let's say for whatever reason he may come at me a little too hard, this is not a good thing to be like. So as my partner's doing this, you know, Jeff's keeping a bend in his knee, so at least he's a little stronger than I can plant down on the ground. All right, so at least he's protecting his own knee. But again, one. Moving, 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 moving. Two, moving, boom. And again, just to break down, I'm lifting, same, same, same movement of, as I would here. So he's gonna read that back foot, and he's gonna think that that's coming. Lift, boom. And I'm, I'm also getting a little hop. So here, one, two, boom. I'm getting a little, little hop into it. Does anybody have any questions? No? Let's, let's, let's do what we did there a second ago. Try it in a free flow movement, uh, or a free, free flow motion. We'll slow it down, we'll break down the mechanics if I see people having trouble with it. And, uh, and then we'll speed it up. But again, guys, remember, he's getting tired of that. He's like, he's getting tired of my little, my movements here. He thinks, boom, he thinks this is coming. He thinks it's coming again, huh, boom. And I'm stomping that knee out. And that can be very effective in a, Especially a fight where the round is five minutes long. You know, I'm giving you guys the MMA perspective here. I don't want you to go to the next competition of the weekend. I'm like, yeah, snap! <laughs> you know, uh, I'm giving you guys the uh, MMA perspective. So let's try that. One, two, get that nice leg, hoot, boom. And again, just shadow it. I don't even have to make contact. Even if I just, you know, hoot, boom. I just shadow it in front of his knee. I don't have to make contact. Let's try that. Five times each. Just shadow it in front of your partner so you don't actually make contact. Here's a technical guard, I guess. Nice, quick little detail here, watch. Little detail here. I'm not, when I do this, when I lift, I'm not like, my hips shouldn't face through the way. I'm not like turning my hips. I'm keeping my hips facing where they would be in my stance, like relatively the same direction. Because again, I have to think about, I have to think about the way out. I don't want to go in, boom, I got a great knee kick. Now Jeff can hit me, follow him with an elbow, you know, all kinds of stuff here. Knees, come on, got some knee, elbow you. You don't want that. So again, I'm hitting, boom, when I hit that, I'm essentially still facing there, so I can still slide back out. Just remember the way out is just as important as the, the way in, okay? Let's go. 
Guys, quick detail, I just want to uh, throw in there before we move on. Again, what I'm doing is the chest. My, my, uh, my focal point is the chest and the belly, right? That, that's for me personally, I feel like, you know, I can see the shoulders, I can see the hands. I don't have to worry about the head. Because the head, you know, you can't head ball, and, you know, when I want to attack the head, it will be there when I want to uh, catch it, especially the way we're setting them up now. We're gonna set them up to a, into a head kick, um, but I'm not. I'm not looking. Don't don't get don't get focused on the leg. Don't get focused looking at the leg. Remember, this is this is all like little setups. That's a setup for that stump, which could be you know really devastate your opponent's leg. Boom, that's there. But again, my focal point is right here. Okay, it's also better for balance. If I'm looking at the leg, I have a tendency to more put my weight where that's going to be, where, as opposed to keep my, my eyes on where my opponent is, right in the middle. It's going to give me a better judgment for where he is. I just call a lot of people just looking down. Don't look at the leg. Don't look at the leg. Look at the chest. Use your peripheral vision to find, find the leg. All right, let's a little bit more. We'll move on. All right, here we go. Bring it in. I'll let you get a bit of water after this one. Now the pump pad, the knockout. So we're, we've built it. Setting them up. Of course, a lot of different things are going to happen in, a, in, a, in an MMA scenario. You could be dealing with somebody in between all of this work. This is not going to piece together beautifully. You know, the idea is to understand the tactics, use tactics the best way you can possible for your own advantage. But understanding it's never going to be perfect. All right, a fight never happens absolutely perfect. Uh, it can sometimes, but you never expect that. You, you look at it as a puzzle that you're slowly piecing together. You're going to lose some pieces. You, you, you're, Try to piece it together, but at the end of the day, you just focus on the goal at hand. That is uh, trying to damage your opponent the best way you can to set him up for your attacks. All right, and protect yourself at the same time, of course. So now we've been with the inside. All right, we've faked the stop. We've hurt him with that. Now we can actually fake the back leg because he may be anticipating the knee coming. All right, he may be anticipating uh, the stomp the knee. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fake the knee and then come up top. Boom. All right, up to the head. So again, I'm hitting, moving, faking the knee, and then I'm quick, boom, up to the top. All right? Um, this works. It works beautifully. One of my fights that I had over in the States, I actually won by KO with this. I faked the knee, and when I faked the knee, he was anticipating for me to kind of set, and he was coming with this hand here. But because he anticipated that, boom, it came right up top. Boom, and that was it, it was all over. So I can tell you firsthand, it works. So again, moving around. One, two, quick, boom, three. And again, don't make contact with your partner's head. Learn to control it. I see Ilya sweating in the corner over there. Where is he? Look. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so again, moving around. Moving, moving, get that moving. One, quick, two, quick, boom, three. All right, so. Give that a go. I know some of you can kick high. I hope you can kick high. Can I kick high earlier? Okay, good. Uh, just be controlled. Again, everything's controlled. You're not gonna flick that. Guys, watch. When I do the kick to the head, watch how I finish. Now, in a fight, I would nail that boom, as hard as I can. But with Jeff, my partner, I'm just flicking and pulling it back. All right? So again, one more. Inside, knee, knee, boom, head. All right, let's try that. In that sky suit, go back and forth with that. Inside, knee, head kick, do that two, three times, and switch. All right, guys, bring it in. So, again, just so you don't. Uh, you don't think what's going is nonsense. Get around here. Is it, is it clip of how, how stomping the knee can set up, set up the head kick? No point in the There's the knee stomp. Watch. Boom. All right. So the knee stomp can set it up. Where's the wine on this? <laughs> All right. Just give you some idea of what we're doing here. So we're, we're faking, we're faking. You know, stomping the knee. Bang, there it is right there. And I'm stomping that. So he's fearful that boom opens up the head. Okay. Alright, one more time. Just so, again, 
You only say, so you'd have an idea of what you're doing, and it's not. Guys, quick detail on this as well. Yes? Remember, when you're landing this kick, I know some of you may be more flexible than others, but when you're landing this kick, you certainly want your hips to be turned into it. I don't want to be coming up here and then to be here. This, this, that's just going up. It's not really going to. I want to come in with my kick. So, really, when I go with the fake, this is to give me the chance to get some air time. Look a little cool. But also turn my hip. I come up and I turn my hip into it. Again, you're not making contact with your partner, but watch. Rather than me just coming up and I'm, I'm, you know, nothing's happening there, I need to turn my hip. See that turn? Certainly, Sensei Roy taught me always to turn your back foot when you're looking to get up on a kick. Makes it more effective. And like anything, like boxing, you know, you don't throw a punch with your arm, you throw with your hip, okay? And every, every turn of the hip, is setting up the next turn. And that's where the power comes from. It essentially comes from the hips. So again, I'm here, I suck your leg, you know, I stomp, and then I go, put, boom, and I'm turning my hip over. That's just gonna get the knockout. So think about that when you're, when, you're, when you're landing that. Don't obviously knock out your partner, but think about turning the hips over, right? Let's go back to that. Yeah. Moving on in a second. So same concept, but now we're gonna start off attacking the knee. And I get into the, to the body with the uh, with the lead leg. Okay. So again, I'm here. One. Okay. Two. Now I'm gonna face this this one again. You know, we can actually maybe we can no no let's stay with the one. All right. Two. Now he's fearful of that knee getting stumped. So what I'm gonna and this this actually works really well if somebody's standing more sideways. Because now I'm looking to get in here into the belly. So what can I do? I can fake this back leg here and come up and boom. Um, that stomping motion right there. Look at my club. That hurt you? Yeah. That's the motion we're looking for. All right, and it especially works if you move it to your right. And I'm coming in. So up, up, boom. I'm getting right there. And a lot of times it works really nice, guys, because uh, the guy's standing here, hands are up. He's not sure what's going on. Stomping his legs. And see where the elbow's out? A lot of the times you come up, when you've got to go around, he'll drop his elbow. He'll drop it, he might kiss the elbow, and it can be sore. But we can pinpoint the body. Boom, I hit him with that. Now, he might drop that elbow, but I'm, I'm catching him right in the belly. So I'm, I'm almost faking, I'm thinking he's going, I'm, I'm going around. But really, it's just like here, same as a body shot. I'm, he thinks I'm going around, so he drops the elbow. And really, I'm just going right up the middle with that body shot. Okay, so sit again, moving. Just hitting that bounce. One, two. Now I fake that back leg. And it's almost like I'm going for that head kick. Again, my hips are turned over. Nail that again. Here. One, two, three. And again, just touching the belly. It's not boom. It's not through. It's just whip. In and out. Okay? And guys, remember. Uh, I didn't emphasize just there, hitting them. Don't be like, oh, all right. You, you can do that once or twice, just to get the, in your balance. Feel that belly, but realistically, when you get going, get a rhythm, and reset. Always reset. All right, let's go. A few times each. All right, guys, bring it in. All right, last thing we're going to do. Last thing we're going to do, we're going to leave your legs alone. Legs might, uh, might be a little tired of doing all that rep. Uh, so we're going to use this nice bounce that we have. This nice bounce. This is why I want you to put your gloves on because we all know, you know the blitz in the boom in with the, the quick back hooker. That can actually be very effective in MMA. Okay? Uh, if I'm using this distance, this range of my legs, you know, put, stomping the knee, put, catching the belly, you know, faking, catching the head. I'm doing all this stuff. When I use this range that I have to try maybe get a takedown, you know, I can use that quick, that quick blitz. A lot of guys wouldn't be used to that. And even if Jeff covers up, that's all I need. I just need him to cover up. And as I'm coming in, I'm level changed with the hips, dropping the leg, and then I'm right here, <coughs> sitting on the leg. And if he knows I have his leg trapped, I'm just gonna force Jeff to try and react and move. And as he's reacting, I'm passing, and then I can Get a lot of shots from here, all right? But again, something you already know, bridging the two worlds in. So I'm bouncing, 
and get that nice fluid motion. Boom! I'm coming. This is a clean into the hip. All right. I'm pushing them back, trapping. Boom! And that trap of the leg is just, just keep your, keep your balance for a second. So I'm here, moving. Boom! Boom! In. I'm pushing. Keep your balance. I'm coming up. This trap, trapping the leg, and I'm putting my weight on the knee, and I'm sitting right here. You know, just legs locked out straight. And I can essentially, I can either sit here, boom, attack, or start crossing over. This can be very uncomfortable. And then I'm here. And I can, I can sit here, as Jeff tries to uh, do stuff, I can control the biceps. You know, I can push the knee. Uh, I can go straight, straight past, get the knee on belly. But all I want you to do is just get to that comfort zone. Moving around, moving around, boom, into the hip. All right, and then slowly stepping through, boom. And I'm right here, straight to the biceps. So when you get that takedown, sitting on the leg, right to the bicep. Does anybody have any questions? Want to see it one more time? So you know how to get the back up So for the person receiving, you're just gonna cover as you see them coming in. Person throwing it, don't nail your partner. Flick it, okay? And then, but you're literally using that as a disguise. You might sting him in the nose, boom. If he's not ready for it, you might sting him, <clears throat> but you're already level changing. So I can hit that bounce, that bounce, use my hands, legs, whatever, Whoop. and I'm into the hip. See right here? I'm leading with this leg. And as I drive, he'll probably try and base, then I'm stepping. Yeah. All right, I'm keeping my head safe. I'm not leaving my head on the ground, giving Jeff a chance to get a, a guillotine. I'm keeping my head in his chest, control the biceps, and then I can start through here, all right? It's a little funky, it's a little out of your comfort zone. And slow it down, give it a go. I want to leave you guys with something you can kind of brainstorm about, all right? <laughs> Be a good, guys, 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 be a good partner, all right? Don't spaz out and like, you know, get all awkward. Be a good partner. Let your partner go through the motions, all right? Let's go, keep going. Watch your space. Guys, watch real quick, all right, Jeff? If I get in on Jeff and I go here and, you know, I'm driving forward, Jeff can sprawl, he can sprawl, get bumped. And then I'm in this game, and that can be bad, that can be bad news. So what we're looking to do here, I've nailed the guy, his balance is already here. You might get, you might carry the momentum, but if the guy is sharp, he might start to sprawl. So when I get in on Jeff, boom, I'm already thinking, I gotta think about stepping over. Now Jeff is trying to sprawl. I've got his leg trapped. You know what I mean? I've got the leg trapped here. And now it's especially good because we're on the ground, I'm on top, and I can start getting a uh, hand position. In order to start making advances, uh, 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 advances. So just remember, this is why I want you to slow it down. Bing, get in. As long as you're getting here, you're trying to even sprawl. Boom. You know, like Jeb is a state champ wrestler from in high school. There's no chance I'm going to get something like this easy on him. So I have to try and trap something. So while I'm using my elusive movement that you guys have, bing in, and then as I go forward, I'm trapping that. Boom. I'm sitting on his leg hand position, and I'm, I'm able to go up here. One more time, guys, and then Italy is looking at me to finish this crap. <laughs> All right, here we go. Slow it down. Make sure you trap your leg. Trap that leg so you can't go All right, good time, guys. Time, bring it in. <laughs> All right, so, uh, just to recap, guys, I wanted to uh, bridge what you already know with a little bit of uh, you know of, of what it's like, be, you know, from an MMA perspective, and give you an idea of you know how you can use what you already have uh, in a situation where you are mixing it up and you can attack the legs, um, certainly take somebody down like we just did there. I mean, how 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 many times? In a, in a tournament, you see guys getting that big blitz. And a lot of the times they'll nail the guy, and he's kind of here when that lovely takedown pressure, trapping the leg. You know, so I'm tr I was just wanted to bridge what you already knew and what you're already used to, 
uh, and kind of bridge it in with something new, something you may, may have not have um, tried before. But at least you have something to take away from it. You understand attacking the legs, why you're attacking the legs. You're attacking the leg to, to damage the leg, obviously, slow your opponent down, make that lead leg heavy, but also using it as a way to get him thinking about that, setting up the head kick, setting up the body shot. Um, and all those moves ultimately, um, you know, if your opponent's tough and they can withstand it, as long as you're staying busy and getting off your shots, me and you, we were just talking about it there, you're going to be winning the fight, but you're, you're, you're trying to create that damage on your opponent's legs, on the body, on the head. And then, of course, the last thing we just did there was using that lovely, that bounce that we learned, you know, from uh, uh, being here and, and, and in Bushido martial arts, getting that lovely bounce, lovely rhythm, uh, and being able to use range as your friend, being able to use that really quick, explosive uh, attack to get something like a takedown. Which, because uh, in, in wrestling, if me and Jeff were wrestling, we're here, we're working the head. I don't really have a lot of range to work with. You know, not to mention, if I start backing up, you know, I'm losing the match. So we're in here, we're going, we're going like this. But in an MMA scenario, or like a situation where we're working on, I can use this range. I can use this range that you're used to. So we just wanted to, Jeff and I wanted to just uh, take what we already knew and, and then add something into it. It's a good session, guys. Thanks for having me. <laughs> And you just get a group photo in real quick, yeah, we all just yeah, squeeze yeah. in one. We truly want to start. Yeah, it's good. Just squeeze in there, guys, and we'll uh, get a group photo in. Cheers.